have and have not fans. I, w I want to tell you. I I'm going to tell you what I did. Okay, so I posted a video already about our first look at Veronica. I pre-recorded another video just now about my thoughts on what might happen in tonight's episode. Go to the bathroom, you know, just shave, get everything right on my face. Because if I do a live stream tonight, I I was thinking about showing my face on the camera like I sometimes do and look at the chats and talk. But let me, let me tell you. So I go on Facebook one more time to make sure, okay, I, I posted the video in all the Facebook groups. I updated the page. All right, I got all my posts ready. So I could take me about an hour or nap or so, wake up, and I'm good to go for the night. I go to Facebook and the first thing I see is about a, let me double check here. I think it's about a, uh, yeah, about a 35 second clip for the night's episode. And it's Benny and Candace uh, going at it in the hotel room, Ver verbally, of course, no physical, any no physical pushing or anything like that. And I might have to do a live stream on it because I, I, I can't wait anymore. The reason I'm doing this video, I I'm in tears right now. Like it's a mixture of excitement for what's going to happen tonight, but also just sorrow because Benny loves his sister and I swear. Okay, let, let me just break it down for you. I'm sorry if I'm rambling on. I'm just like, I'm hype over a 35 second clip, y'all. So this episode itself is going to have me bouncing around the room. So based off the clip, and again, I'm only breaking down what we've seen. So if it changes by the night in terms of the overall atmosphere, forgive me. Basically, it sounds like Benny found out what Kansas' plan for revenge is. That's what it sounds like because the clip starts off with Benny talking about how you started all of this. Candace is like, and I'm going to finish it. And he's like, oh, okay. And she's like, Benny, leave now. I'm going to call security. And Benny says that, well, when you come to your senses, when you know after you've gone through this anger, your family's going to be here waiting for you, referring to him and Hannah. And I love that. But then she goes on to say, my family was cremated. My family was cremated. So, folks, it sounds like we got verbal confirmation. We got verbal confirmation that Candace Young did indeed have little Quincy Jr. cremated um, in, in the finale. Or at least, you know, maybe after she got out of jail. I, I just, wow. So all the speculation of, you know, he's going to have a funeral later on and um, it'll be kind of like a fight. Well, I, I do know in the finale that Hannah said, you know what? That's OK. This is her child. This is her son. This is just an empty shell. He's with the Lord right now. And again, the funeral home scene was just the highlight of the um, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm literally. I'm not crying, but I'm literally just kind of choked up. I mean, it's, it's sad. So we know that Candace pretty much, I mean, we're going to find out tonight. It, it sounds like she has um, laid it all on the line. And um, as the um, TV guide spoilers did say that Benny is going to go over to try to get Candace, you know, just to talk to her. But Candace doesn't want his help. So I don't I don't know what she has planned, y'all. I really don't know. It sounds like it's something that Benny wants no part of, and he's not going to like it. And I I will say this much now. I will say this much. The fact that he said your family's here waiting for you, making reference to himself and Hannah, based off what I'm hearing, it sounds like if Candace you know tells what her plan is, what she plans to do, where she plans to go. It doesn't seem like Hannah is involved in terms of her revenge plot. So that's another thing to take notice of. And again, the fact that this was just a 35 second clip, but I'm just so pumped up. I'm just, okay, I need to calm down. What I might do is I might get on the live stream and play the clip for you all and just have a live discussion there because whew, I don't even think I can go to sleep now. I don't even think I can go to sleep now. So y'all go over to the have and the have not Facebook page. I want to link it in the description below. That clip has me so worked up. Let me know if you felt the way I felt after you watched it. And um, 
I'll talk to you all soon. Let's put it that way.